Hello developers and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, as always, Scott Keck Warren. In this video, we're going to be discussing our favorite new features in PHP 8.1. PHP 8.1 is going to be released on November 25th, 2021, and we wanted to highlight the features we're most excited about. This video doesn't cover all of the new features, but it does highlight the ones we think will make the biggest improvement in our day-to-day -day development. Enumerations. Support for enumerations is by far our favorite new feature. So much so that our next video will be just about them because they're worth the extra focus. Enumerations, or enums for short, allow us to define a new structure, much like a class, but that can only hold a set of allowed values. In the past, this was handled by using public constants in a class. When we need to set a variable to one of these states, we'll do the following. The problem with this method is that because we're just setting a variable to a value, we could, and most likely did, do something like the following accidentally. This is a valid expression, but causes us to have an invalid value of 4 in the value variable. Using enums, we'll define our values like the following. And we can still set our values like so. But now it's impossible for us to set it to an invalid case. Again, we recommend that you subscribe to our channel because we will be talking about these more as we do think they are very important and there's a lot of nuance to them. New in initializers. PHP 8.0 added initializers to constructors so that we could define properties inside of the constructor. If I say so, another wonderful addition by the PHP maintainers that makes our code easier to read and maintain. A small issue with this implementation is that if any of the parameters are optional, we have to run through a little rigmarole to initialize it to the correct value. In 8.1, we can now initialize the value directly in the function declaration. It's not an earth-shattering change, but it does make our lives a tiny bit easier. Read-only properties. Another improvement to classes is the ability to create read-only properties. They're more like write-once properties because we can only write once to them, and then the second time we try to write to them, we'll get an error. Pure intersection types. If we have a function that needs to be passed an object that implements multiple interfaces before 8.1, we had to create an interface that implements all of the interfaces we're interested in. This creates an extra interface that we need to maintain. Thankfully, PHP 8.1 adds pure intersection type so we can declare what interfaces a pass class must support for it to be valid. This is done using a single ampersand character between the interfaces. Fsync function. We haven't had a chance yet to talk about how to read and write files in PHP, but the basics are this. If we want to write to a file, we start with a call to the fopen function with the file path as the first parameter and w as the second parameter. This tells PHP that we want to write to the file. The fopen function will return a file pointer resource that we'll use for the rest of the interaction. We can then call a function like fwrite to write some data and finally fclose to close the file and tell PHP to tell the operating system to write the data to our storage. The potential problem with this process is that something horrible could happen and our data could not be persisted to storage. This is because operating systems tend to cache the files for speed. If this happens, data could be lost, and it could be confusing if we send an email letting somebody know their data has been accepted and then lose the data. PHP 8.1 adds the fsync function to make sure our data is synchronized to storage before we continue. Array is list. When working with arrays in PHP, there are two major types. Numerical arrays, where all the keys in the array are numbers, and associative arrays, where we use a string as a key to access the elements. It's hard to tell which one we're working with without doing some tricky array manipulation inside of our code. Thankfully, PHP 8.1 adds the array is list function to tackle this problem. If we pass in an array and it's not using numerical keys that start at zero, it will return false. It's important to know that even if we're using numbers, but don't start at zero, it will return false. Final class constant. Class constants in PHP can be overridden using inheritance. As of PHP 8.1, we can mark constants as final to prevent this. Go try it. PHP 8.1 adds a lot of helpful features to make our code easier to read and maintain. We just went through our favorites of enums, being able to initialize properties in the initializers of a class, read-only properties, the fsync function, final class constants, and the array is list function. If it's not already out when you're watching this, the final release candidate of PHP 8.1 is available to test, so go try out the new features and see how it can make your code easier to develop and maintain. As always, thank you for watching our videos. Please make sure that you subscribe, comment, and like as it helps others find us. 
What's your favorite new feature? Let us know in the comments below. This is Scott Keck Warren for PHP Developers TV signing off and reminding you to keep coding.